But I am deeply concerned. I am deeply concerned. Now we have in the Bahrain, the party, to get a few things right. So the record. And you know, I do not know when we did otherwise. And I, I mean no harm to anybody. But I feel that if, if this party is to go forward, let's go forward and make it sense. And not being misconceived in what we're doing. I don't have a branch. I don't know how this branch works, but it's the second word in the same way. And then I will come for the wrong. I'm Peter Phillips, who wants to run for general secretary. Somebody has to nominate Peter Phillips, but it can't be just me. It got to be my branch. If my branch decides to walk Peter Phillips, then I have a branch meeting. A vote will be put, and every member of the branch who is a member of the Barbados Labour Party, for it can be a member of the branch, so being a member of the party, will vote for Peter Phillips. Or against Peter Phillips. It happened to me in Taiwan a few years ago. And I feel for four million years, branches for four million years, and every member of the branch vote, and some vote for Taiwan, and Taiwan would have won some branches, and I would have lost some and won some. And in the end of the day, the branches have their delegates. A delegate sponsor, just the head of the Union has a delegate sponsor, yeah. just the head of the NUPW has a delegate sponsor, yeah. just the head of the Obama president of the United States has a delegate and a delegate sponsor, and you go home and you go. Yeah. So since what date have we been anything other than one man, one vote in this party? Let us focus on the things that matter to the man. We want to have a man.
the political leader of the party. It's only the constitution, but by long practice chosen by the members, elected members of parliament. And they say here that this is what has been with the election of Kapiyan. Coming from Adam, Mr. John, and we vote for an hour and then we and they tell you that if they think the issue one man more vote is that perhaps that this should go to the purest form of democracy and have all leaders chosen in the everybody. But it tells you that the family's thousands of the party did not get that way. And you know who is the party of the party? For now, for example, Adam. And so you spend it. Both national heroes. And the closest they can come to how Bradley would see this man is in a letter written to me in 1970, 1993, when it began here is the Bible the Bible, which is you, Spare, who was a founder of this party, the person in this party who was close to Bradley Adams, and the person who served. Apart from the market as the youngest and the of this party, but who, as a formative member of this party, had to give it its character and set in place the conventions that he must hold here. And this is where that he wrote me. When he began, given this the 17th of July, I don't know if this is a document in the party, you know, if you hit already. Because you're on it. It's a year with the author. I would like to congratulate you on being the man who has elected him leader by your colleagues in Parliament. It is this will ensure that the Governor General will appoint you leader of the opposition now, and then your party gains the majority by minister. It is may you so comfort yourself as always to earn the respect and even the admiration of your fellows. With every good wish, you will sincerely be blessed. intended that, as you call it, the leader, should be the leader of the party chosen by the parliamentary party. Because what they want to avoid <coughs> is a ridiculous situation. <laughs> they will have a leader either as prime minister or leader of the opposition in parliament chosen by the parliamentary party and somebody outside chosen by an alternative party. And in 1990, we sat down as a party under the leadership of Henry Ford and discussed how we deal with the constitution of the party. And we decided that draw from this and work into the constitution of the party. We affirm that commitment that all children of a political leader had to be consistent with the constitution of our leader. That the constitution of our leader is really the process by which we did that chosen. That the opposition in this evening commands, or she who commands the support of the majority who wants to vote in government, and so it is in the government.